I'm glad you could make it. I, I know it was short notice. Uh, no, happy to come. Yeah, Any time, big brother. You know that? Uh, we thought it would be nice if we could all be together to see Jessica off. Yes, she's going to the prom. <gasps> oh, that's right. Matthew mentioned something about that. Yeah. Uh, apparently this prom night is very significant. It's a significant event. Uh, of course, we have no idea how it's going to impact her, but... We want her to know that we're there for her, no matter what, you know. I was hoping that Matthew could stop by for a little bit. Sure. I mean, we, we could take some photos and let Jesse know that we love her. And... I'll give him a call. Okay, thanks. How's she doing? Under the circumstances, I would say she's doing as well as can be expected. So, you and Christian are destined. You know, the sooner you accept it, the easier it'll be for you. Really? So what happened to the Jessica who came over to our apartment the other night? The one who wasn't going to make any more trouble for us? Okay. The truth is, I just wanted to see how Christian would react when I told him that Brody was going to be my date to the prom. Yeah, that was apparent to everybody. Was it apparent that he didn't like it? And when Ford was hitting on me, he got really jealous? Jessica, Christian was concerned because of your condition. He didn't want Ford to make you feel threatened or uncomfortable. He still loves me. You're delusional. Really? Well, then how come he almost just kissed me at the gym? What? You can ask him yourself. But I don't think you're going to like the answer. Did Layla say something to you? <sighs> don't hurt her, OK, Christian? She's such a lovely woman. Why would I hurt her? I love her. Yeah, and, and the people who hurt us the most are the ones who love us. Oh, so I can't win. If I love her, I hurt her. If I love somebody no, everybody else, Everybody then... gets hurt. You just have to look deep in your heart. If you still love Jessica... So what if I no. do? Would that be a crime? If you didn't lose Cole, it's just a bad situation. It's getting worse. Why? What happened now? Hannah, I went to see Cole, and she was hanging all over the bars of his jail cell. She's really working it. Yeah, overtime. Then Cole and I got into a fight. About Hannah? And my dad, as usual. And then I, I, I went to talk to Hannah, you know, to, to lay it out. And I was defending my dad, and then all of a sudden she, she said, what if he didn't do it? Then who did? Yeah, that's a good question. Hannah. Are, are you serious? Hannah. I think that Hannah pushed Cole's mom down the stairs. No. Really? I want to put it past her. Where's Todd? They took him to have his head examined. I could have saved them the trip. He's certifiable. What's that? Oh, it's some cookies I baked for you. Well, you didn't have to do that? It's the least I could do after what I did to your mom. What do you mean? Well, you didn't hear. According to Star, I pushed your mom down the stairs and killed her baby. I know that it sounds crazy, but someone had to push Cole's mom down the stairs, and if it wasn't my dad, Hannah was there. I mean, she admitted it. Okay, look, I'm totally on your side, but it just sounds kind of desperate. I mean, I know Cole's cute and all, but do you really think she would push his mom down the stairs? Yeah, and blame it on my dad to push us apart? I mean, I, I think that she would go that far. Well, have you told John? <sighs> no. Not yet, you know, I don't want him to think that I'm crazy. You're not crazy, but you also don't have any proof either. Yet. Okay, come on, Sherlock, we gotta get to rehearsal. Okay, let's take it one more time, Destiny, whenever you're ready. Okay. How lame is this party? I mean, why are we even here? I don't know. Who's that? I think he's on the football team. I don't know his name. Whoever he is, he's cute. Trick, I guess. Cut! That 
That was great, everybody. Brings us back to the first number. Some of us have appointments, Mr. G. Like to get our hair done for the prom. Well, then let's get right to it. First number from the top. Okay, Darren Whitney, you're on. I want you to imagine that you're in costume and you're on the stage with the set and the lights. Five, six, seven, eight. Love it. 